Hi, this is Doug Ware, and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure Azure Functions for SharePoint in your own Azure tenancy. In this demonstration I'm going to be using a clean Azure environment that has nothing deployed to it. I'm going to start off by going to the Azure portal and creating a new resource group which I'm going to use to track all of the different things that make up Azure Functions for SharePoint. All right, so I'm going to go and add an item, and it's going to be a new resource group. And I'm going to name this resource group AFFSP for Azure Functions for SharePoint. And we'll let this be pay as you go and East US as the default. And now I'm going to add two storage accounts. The first one I'm going to call AFFSP Functions. And this is going to be a general purpose. Um, storage account, and I'm going to use that resource group that I just created in order to keep everything nice and organized. And the second Azure storage account I'm going to create is named AFFSP config. And this one's going to be a blob storage account, again, uh, managed in that same resource group. All right. Now the storage accounts have both been created. The next thing that I need to do is record some information about these so that I can use them later on. So in the GitHub project, there is an Excel spreadsheet called Setup Checklist that you can use to record some of this information. And so I'm gonna record the, uh, the function storage account and the configuration storage account information. So first we'll go into the Azure Functions for SharePoint function. This, this uh, storage account is used to store all the files that make up the actual function. And I'm going to get its access keys and the storage account name. And I'm just going to put them right here in my spreadsheet where they go so that when I need them later on, I'll have access to them. It's a lot quicker than having to constantly flip back and forth through the portal. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing for the blob storage uh, account that stores configuration information. We'll just paste these right into the SharePoint, or we'll just paste these right into the spreadsheet. Okay, that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is create an actual function. So we'll go here, search the marketplace for function app. I'll select it. Click create. And we'll name this as well AFFSP. Nice and easy to remember. And once again, we're going to use that same resource group. I'll store this in my spreadsheet. Oops, let's fix that. And there we go. Okay, so now let's choose that existing resource group. I'm not sure why this UI uh, doesn't do the same thing that the storage does, but whatever. And uh, so this is going to be in the East US, and I need to pick that account, which is the functions storage account. Remember, it's general purpose, and this is where we're going to store uh, all the files that make up the functions app itself. All right, that's done deploying. And you can see that it doesn't have anything in it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and configure the two required settings that I have to have for this, though, uh, which are in the spreadsheet. And they're the configuration storage account and the configuration storage account key. And all the different functions in the function app are going to need this information in order to read their configuration. So there's the, there's the uh, account, and the account key it goes next. Copy and paste uh, is essential for this because obviously you don't want to try to type it by hand. And I'll click Save. 
Okay, so now I have a function app, but it's a function app that has no functions inside of it. And we're going to fix that next. Over here in GitHub, uh, in the root of the project, there is a, uh, rather I should say in the, oh yeah, in the root of the project, I was looking at my API docs folder. In the root of the project, I got a zip folder. And this zip folder has got all the different files that make up the function. So I'm just going to download that. And all I really need to do is uh, just copy the three folders up into the function. And so I previously connected Azure Storage Explorer to the storage account. And uh, now I'm going to navigate to the www root folder of my function app. So I'm going to go to site and then www root. And uh, now I'm just going to go to uh, the toolbar here and choose upload folder. And we'll select app launch. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other two folders. Using the magic of editing, I'm not going to make you watch the whole upload process for all three of those. And we'll get that last one, which is get access token. and upload that. Okay, and like I said, I'm not going to make you watch all that upload happen. I did a little uh, quick jump here, uh, and now you can see if I refresh my function app, I've got three functions, app launch, event dispatch, and get access token. So I just need to make sure each one of these will run. Uh, it doesn't matter if they have input. Really what I'm interested in seeing is that the uh, compilation worked and I'm not getting any crazy errors. So in this case, we can see that it processed the request. It did compile and the function handler itself just needed some input that wasn't there. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, run this last one here. We'll clear it so you can see what it actually does. And again, it runs. So at this point, we've got a function app that is completely configured and ready to go.